hello YouTube I'm going to show you how to deploy a Java web project into a real-life website like uh, in www.something.com so you may have developed many of uh, Java web application but mostly it's very difficult to find a good uh, Java host which we can relay on complete uh, website so I'll show you the step by step way how to make a java web project into a website now <coughs> now I am starting with Eclipse a test project in Eclipse I'll make it is uh, in a war file w a r file like web archive file and show you how to deploy it in a website which uh, I have bought domain first okay so now I'm opening the Eclipse now I'm showing this Eclipse if you want to download Eclipse please uh, go to my description I have uh, uh, put the the link to download this okay now I have created a dynamic web project a test I'll create a new one for you it will be good dynamic web project test website I'm giving the name okay now I am creating an index page here index page will be always the first page which will be uh, load by the uh, project I mean the website so here I am just putting a code now now this is the code for showing the time of time GMT time current GMT time in this format so I'm just uh, writing to show it out dot window out dot window line okay now I want the run in this in locally just right click on that run as run on server so uh, server is not set here take Apache version 6 uh, select next just browse where it is installed uh, if you want to if you want to download this you can just download from here or in the de uh, description I have given the link now press finish now you can see that it's showing the time the GMT time current time now now I'll add the seconds also yeah seconds also for more specific just try to run it okay so this is the time now I have uh, created this now I'm uh, going to show you deploy this symbol web symbol project in a website and show how this is working now before going to a website we need to get a Java hosting web Java hosting uh, host. so uh, I recommend you a website called mochahost.com is a US based uh, website so it's providing good service and good support I have been working with uh, them almost four years now so I'll show you how to buy a Java hosting domain from them okay so first go to mochahost.com now here just go to hosting and uh, java tomcat hosting this will be uh, the host uh, i'm just showing you how to uh, deploy this one just click on this so here they are basically giving three plans uh, this is shared jvm jvm uh, private jvm and java vps so shared jvm uh, it's not as uh, good for it, it, it's good uh, literally but uh, the uh, features in this is in this uh, shared JVM is not as good to have our uh, uh, deploy our our own uh, war war file so so this is the smallest one I have this is a good one I have been using this so this is a business plan for private JVM we can host unlimited JSP files I mean I mean the JSP sites and uh, unlimited monthly traffic and uh, it's uh, giving a heap size of uh, 64, 128 uh, and 256 for uh, 
MB and for a small website 64 will be enough and uh, this Tomcat version these all are supported and the JDK version MySQL and PostgreSQL is available and this particularly here you can see what deployment is allowed here see you cannot see and uh, here is advanced version you need of that what deployment is allowed and private JVM private Java virtual machine now just move on with the this private JVM package just click order now now you can see the package for this particular private JVM featured one for uh, one month three months six months one year two year and three year and uh, even this 128 and 256 MB heap like uh, the small website you'll be needing a 64 MB heap only like uh, till uh, 5000 visitors per day this this will be enough for 64 MB heap the normal website if you are uh, going for a portal like uh, uh, you will be using more databases and all you can just increase this size I will show you uh, further how to and uh, now I am going with this one month here uh, it's giving a code of Java 24 just take it copy it and move on this with this package pixel it now they will ask uh, whether you want to get a new domain or transfer existing domain at all I will just I'm creating for new dummy if you want I'll show you how to now I am uh, just searching for my own domain genujawadtest.com it will be available for sure now it's available just proceed with this genujawadtest.com uh, and uh, for one year it's ten dollars only and uh, you can see further just click continue and uh, yeah here they are selling the package for 64 MB and Tomcat private JVM and here is the further things just click oh, it's already copied now calculate totals now see here uh, you can just proceed for the further from here click I'm a new customer and press continue and the last for your first name last name every details which this should be correct because they will be sending uh, important emails to, uh, to this email id which you are giving in this and just proceed with uh, your username and password for your cpanel and your card information and just click verify order and proceed to complete the order as normal online online shopping just like online shopping I'm not showing uh, there because this is uh, uh, for testing I'm showing this all these things now once you have done the uh, payment you will be receiving two emails one one uh, email will be much as your domain registration confirmation so I have a uh, registered domain clientsart.com uh, this is the test domain which I am showing you how this will work I mean how we will be hosting our Java project in this clientsand.com and uh, uh, first mail you will be uh, getting this and one or, uh, within one or two hours you will be getting another mail uh, saying uh, a welcome mail it will be showing so this welcome email will be having all the your details like uh, the URL for your cPanel and the credentials which uh, uh, you have given here for your cPanel username and password everything will be mentioned in this welcome email okay now I am closing this I have my domain clientshunt.com I will be showing uh, to deploy the test application which we have developed now to this particular domain I'll just open it now my I have uh, deployed uh, my test website in this uh, don't mind I'll uh, log into the cPanel this the cPanel URL will be getting from uh, the welcome email so just logging it login inside So once you logging, you will be uh, getting this particular 
page this is the c panel control panel for your website now this is the section what uh, uh, we want particularly for hosting this domain so go on to this one i have uh, three domains in this uh, particular uh, account so it's showing three domains here uh, as we as we uh, saw there uh, you can uh, deploy unlimited jsp site so i i bought these three domains these three domains i have um, just hosted these three domains in this uh, particular uh, that 64 mb private jvm package so once uh, you enter this uh, private jvm for the first time you will be asked to install the jdk you need so it's uh, normally uh, uh, the jdk 1.6 is good uh, it's i have version available for here and now i'm showing how to deploy that particular test site in this uh, uh, in this domain now in the eclipse just export it as our file export that var file as in desktop root I am giving this root as if you are it should be root always if you want this particular uh, var file to be the main application like if it's given a root it will be opening in clientshunt.com if you are uh, giving this as abc uh, dot war so and if you are uploading this one to the website it will be like clientsend.com slash abc okay so i'm just putting it root and saving this one all right existing file because it's already there okay now you got one root for uh, root dot for that for our uh, um, test application now i'll show you how to deploy that come over here for the first time yeah i forgot to tell you for the first time if you're coming here you'll have assign assign your do domain uh, to this private jvm okay so once assign here you'll be uh, getting this screen and just click enable okay after that come over here and click deploy war as i shown currently uh, it's running clientsun.com is running some test site i have just uploaded so i'm going to um, upload our new war file just click it and wait for it okay it won't show like uh, completed just come uh, just wait for some time until uh, it's completed it, show, it won't show anywhere here just go back and uh, just open this one yeah it's running here clientsend.com is running our test application sometimes it won't open here at that time just come here and stop the jvm and you can start here so it will be running here okay just don't worry this is pretty simple way if it's a very big site also this is the way how we are deploying our java applications here now i didn't tell about how to use a, a a mysql database here just come here in the home page you can see uh, mysql section here mysql databases so in the mysql databases you can create a database here and you'll have to create a user for that and just map that user here so Mm, yeah just map that user here and uh, this will be your remote mysql host normally if uh, you will be giving jdbc colon three three uh, like uh, what is the port number uh, 3306 slash local host so in that name of local host just give this one okay i have shown in my other video how to use this one just uh, use this one as uh, uh, your URL in the JDBC okay so here if you are if you want to access your online uh, online database from your local PC it won't be connecting you have to add your IP address in this remote MySQL in this remote MySQL add your current IP address here 
and press add host otherwise it will be uh, showing unable to connect the database in your from your local pc okay so hope you guys uh, got this i believe you got this one just see this uh, this is getting increased so this is how we are deploying a java uh, web application to a live website so if you have any doubts on this just comment below i'll be happy to help you all the way and uh, thanks for watching have a nice day please subscribe for my videos